Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dion Ray again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'd like to talk about Twitter and how I use Twitter, you know, to promote my games. How do I use Twitter to promote the apps or anything, you know, anything really that I'm doing. And, and I use Twitter and you can, you know, you can use other tools for social media as well. But I want to focus on Twitter during this video because Twitter has actually been one of the tools that have allowed me to you know, get closer to you, to get known by the indie game industry, because I wasn't, you know, I didn't go into game development or game design as a career to start with. I'm actually, I, I was a developer and I'm still a developer. And I don't make games in my, you know, in my day job. I don't really do that. I, I do that, I do that when I come home. I could do that when, when I'm working late at night, when I'm waking up early in the morning, or I do that on the weekends, like right now. It's the weekend I'm, and I'm basically just working on, on two of my games. So, so why do I want to talk about Twitter? And the reason for that is because Twitter has allowed me to connect to a lot of people. I use Twitter not only to, you know, to promote my games, because you don't want to just promote your work and, and don't give any value to the community. What I, what I would actually pursue is, and, and this is what I do on a daily basis, is use Twitter as a way to connect to the indie, you know, to the indies in the industry. Use use Twitter to to provide value. So, for example, if you're working on a game right now and you're and you're learning a lot and you're going through ups and downs and and you know you learn a new skill or whatever it is that you're learning, share that content because you'll be surprised how many people you know how many people like me are gonna be out there, you know, looking for that information. I also, you know, I also use Twitter to test if a game is gonna do well or not. And, and the way that I do that is I normally will do a prototype that doesn't really take me more than one to two days. And I make it look as good as I can. I, I make sure that the mechanics are solid. And when I say mechanics, I, I will keep it simple. It doesn't have to have too much depth into, into the game. But then I, you know, I grab, I record a video about the game, the game prototype or an image, and then I quickly just tweet it. And then I add a few hashtags. And then I see, I can see by, you know, using Twitter analytics, how, how much exposure a tweet is actually getting. And I can, you know, I can easily tell if something is gonna do well based on the history of some of my tweets. So, so I use Twitter as a way of testing the market. You know, make sure that you're looking at tags that are, that are specific for, you know, your target market. So for example, I, I create puzzle games. So every time I'm doing a test like that, I'm always, I'm always adding hashtags that are, you know, that have puzzle games, that have, a, you know, anything related to puzzles I put in the hashtags. So, so Twitter is a great tool for that. Twitter is a great tool to, you know, just basically document your journey. You know, you don't need to document every single, every single hour, every single minute of what you're doing, but just make sure that you tweet, you know, a couple of times per day and let the, let the world know what is it that you're creating, because that's how you're going to start adding, you know, engagement. You want to, we want to focus on getting engagement because when you, the worst thing that can happen is you release a game and you release a product and nobody actually sees that product. So with Twitter, what I do is I start talking about the product from the very beginning. You, you know, you let the community provide you feedback. And I do this all the time. I, I, and I really appreciate what people do is, you know, I might be working on a game or I might be working on a tool and people, you know, they will criticize it. They will tell me, you know, Dilmer, that doesn't really make sense. What are you doing this, this? Some of them will be very harsh, and, and I don't take it as a negative. But actually, looks at I look at those comments, and I and I think about it, and I and I sit down, and I put myself in the shoes of the other person, and and I try to analyze that data as much as I can. And with that data, what I can do is I can actually you know apply some of those those analytic results into what I'm creating, and I might pursue that game, I might not pursue that game, I might create a new prototype and go through that process again. So, so I use Twitter for that. Twitter is great for that kind of, kind of, you know, kind of test. It's also, like I was saying, it's also a great tool for engagement. So get close to your community. If you're, you know, if you're like me and you are not known in the, in the game, in the game developer community, Twitter is a great way to start meeting those people, to start meeting those connections. 
So I hope this was helpful, guys. I appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And again, don't forget to subscribe because with that, I'm going to be able to create more videos like this. Thank you again. I appreciate it.